This isn't just another story about solar panels. This is about a discovery buried in a physics lab, made from a crystal with a name most people can't even pronounce. For decades, we've been told that silicon is the king of solar energy. But somewhere deep in Europe, a quiet revolution has been unfolding. A new material hidden in plain sight is starting to break the limits we thought were unbreakable. While most of the world sleeps under familiar rooftops, something far more powerful is coming. And soon, your next solar panel might not look or perform the way you expect. The problem with current solar technology. For years, silicon has been the workhorse of solar power. It's dependable, it's cheap, and thanks to decades of engineering tweaks, it's better today than anyone thought possible back in the early days of solar energy. But behind that progress hides a growing problem. Silicon solar cells are nearing their physical limits. Even with the best manufacturing techniques, even with the cleanest production lines, the average commercial panel struggles to cross 22 or 23 percent efficiency. Some premium models might squeeze out a bit more, but the ceiling is painfully close. This isn't just a technical issue. It's an economic one. Land is expensive. Mounting systems cost money. Cables, labor, and inverters all add up. Every square meter of rooftop space is now precious. Yet for all that investment, each panel still leaves much of the sun's energy untapped. Manufacturers have stretched the boundaries with new cell designs, better surface coatings, and improved light capture techniques. But each new advance now brings smaller and smaller gains. The returns are diminishing. Solar installers, project developers, and even homeowners are beginning to ask the same uncomfortable question. How much further can silicon really go? And what happens when demand keeps growing, but the technology stays stuck? The search for something better has already begun. The science behind perovskite. The answer to solar's efficiency problem didn't come from a billion-dollar factory or a government think tank. It came from a mineral, a strange, somewhat forgotten crystal with a history dating back to the 1800s. Perovskite. The name sounds like something out of a geology textbook. That's because it is. Originally discovered in Russia, this mineral's defining feature wasn't its color or texture. It was its atomic structure, a very particular arrangement of atoms that, at first glance, had nothing to do with solar energy. But then, about a decade ago, researchers at Oxford University stumbled onto something curious. They found that when you recreated that same crystal structure using different materials, something incredible happened. The new perovskite compound became an extraordinary light absorber. Unlike silicon, which soaks up a broad range of light but struggles with certain wavelengths, perovskite has a unique strength. It was especially good at capturing high-energy visible light, the blue and green parts of the spectrum that silicon often wastes. But the real magic happens when you combine the two. By layering a thin film of perovskite directly on top of a traditional silicon solar cell, engineers created what's called a tandem solar cell. Two layers, two technologies, working together as one. The perovskite layer grabs the high-energy light first, converting it into electricity with remarkable efficiency. Whatever light it can't catch, especially the lower-energy reds and infrareds, passes through to the silicon layer beneath. There, the silicon does what it's always done best. This simple but powerful pairing pushes solar cell efficiency far beyond the traditional ceiling, not just by a few percentage points, but by enough to change the math for solar installers, utilities, and even consumers. And the best part? This is only the beginning. From lab experiment to real-world product, turning a lab discovery into something that can survive rain, wind, and decades of sun is no small task. What works under perfect lab conditions often falls apart in the real world. That was the challenge facing the engineers at Oxford PV. Early prototypes were tiny, just small squares on a glass slide. Fragile, unstable, only able to hold their efficiency for a few hours or days before degrading. Making something durable enough for rooftops and solar farms meant years of problem solving. New manufacturing techniques had to be invented. Material formulas had to be tweaked and retweaked. And then came the question of scale. Producing a cell the size of a postage stamp is one thing. Covering large solar panels with uniform perovskite layers without flaws or gaps? That was a different kind of mountain. But slowly, progress came. Stability improved. Efficiency levels held steady. 
manufacturing methods became reliable. By 2024, Oxford PV wasn't just publishing research papers anymore. They were shipping real products. Their first generation of perovskite silicon tandem modules made their way into commercial installations in select markets. Not in massive quantities, not yet, but enough to prove that the technology worked outside the lab. Customers testing these panels weren't just buying electricity, they were buying a glimpse of the future. Panels that produce more power from the same footprint. Modules that hint at a world where solar energy doesn't have to choose between efficiency and affordability. And behind every shipped panel was over a decade of quiet, determined engineering. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Why efficiency matters more than ever. In the early days of solar, panel efficiency wasn't the main concern. The goal back then was simply to make solar affordable enough for everyday use. Panels were bulky, low in output, but cheap enough to install on rooftops and fields. The industry grew by focusing on scale rather than squeezing out every extra watt. But times have changed. Now the cost of the panel itself is often just a small part of the total installation bill. Land prices have soared, labor costs are rising, the steel frames, electrical wiring, inverters, and maintenance. All these things remain stubbornly expensive, no matter how cheap the panels get. That's where efficiency suddenly becomes everything. A panel that's even 10 or 20% more efficient means fewer panels for the same power output. Less land is needed for solar farms, shorter runs of cable, smaller mounting structures. For homeowners with limited roof space, Every extra percentage point of efficiency directly translates to more usable power. And then there's the question of future energy needs. As electric vehicles become mainstream and home energy demands grow, people will need to generate more power without expanding their rooftops. Higher efficiency panels solve that problem. Perovskite tandem technology doesn't just promise small incremental gains. It offers a step change moving from average efficiencies of 22% toward 26%, 28%, and eventually beyond 30 t For utilities and commercial operators, that means lower overall system costs per megawatt installed. For homeowners, it means better returns on investment and more energy independence. In a world racing toward electrification, the value of every square meter of solar panel space has never mattered more. Oxford PV's business model and global rollout. Oxford PV never aimed to become just another solar panel company. From the start, they recognized the scale of the industry they were stepping into. Solar manufacturing spans the globe, led by giants with decades of production experience and well-established supply chains. Competing head-to-head -head on volume right away was never realistic. So they chose a smarter path. First, Oxford PV focused on making small batches of panels themselves, enough to prove their technology works outside the lab, enough to collect performance data from real-world installations. This early production allowed them to refine their manufacturing techniques and build trust with key industry players. But the real opportunity lies in licensing. Oxford PV holds the key patents and intellectual property behind its tandem perovskite silicon technology. This puts them in a unique position to offer their breakthrough to established solar manufacturers worldwide. Their first licensing deal is already in motion. A major PV company is gearing up to integrate Oxford PV's technology into its production lines. More partnerships are expected soon. Scaling won't happen overnight. Factories will need to retool. New equipment will need to be built and shipped. But the roadmap is clear. The engineering knowledge exists. What began in a university research lab is now set to ripple across global solar manufacturing. The shift from pure silicon to tandem perovskite isn't hypothetical anymore. It's inevitable. The road ahead. Timeline and next milestones. Oxford PV's journey from lab discovery to real-world impact is already underway. Their first commercial panels using tandem perovskite. Silicon technology are quietly generating power at select pilot sites. These first-generation modules reach nearly 24% efficiency, a clear improvement over traditional silicon panels. 
But this is only the beginning. By next year, Oxford PV plans to roll out its second-generation modules, targeting an efficiency of around 26%. Independent tests have already confirmed this milestone in lab prototypes. Looking further ahead, the company's engineers are aiming for something even bigger, a 30 commercial module by 2030. Beyond that, the vision stretches further. The theoretical efficiency ceiling for tandem cells sits between 14 and 45%, offering years of headroom for further development. Meanwhile, work is underway on bifacial versions of these panels. These models will harvest sunlight from both sides, capturing energy reflected from the ground and boosting overall output. Scaling up production will take time. Building factories, refining manufacturing processes, and training new teams are all part of the challenge. But Oxford PV isn't standing still. Step by step, milestone by milestone, this once laboratory concept is edging toward mainstream solar adoption. This story isn't just about materials and engineering. It's about human persistence challenging limits, redefining what's possible, and collecting more sunlight with every new breakthrough. The future is bright.